what's up i hope we're not oh, <laughs> i'm gonna check my feed while i pull the can live chat see? in <laughs> can y'all see us okay let me go ahead and pull the chat in i'm gonna switch this I look around super pixelated on my end but whatever sorry guys deal with it uh, yeah <laughs> it's me it's literally uh my computer is the dramatic one uh, if if this ends up being a brat i will switch over to Streamyard because the the pixelation is just oh there i am just talking okay there you go we're crispy we're crispy on this end cool so all right how is everyone doing Oh my gosh, we're so happy to see everybody. I didn't realize there'd be 82 of y'all here, but here we go. Um, yes, I love it too. And I think maybe Danielle's sick of me, but because I'm literally like, oh my God, did you see this? And she's like, no, what is it? And then it's like, how are we fitting this in around Danielle's work schedule? So um, I'm so excited that she was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it tonight. Let's um, <laughs> go. I'm very much, if there's something that needs to be done, we need to do it right away. No time to waste, people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, if y'all don't know what we're reacting to, the cover is Jesse Lee Ward holding a giant golden um, Easter egg. But that's not, that's, you know, it's just, uh, it was definitely. Fake news. It was fake news. This did not happen. My teacher would be rolling over in, in her grave if she saw the stuff I do on my thumbnail. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, we need the content warnings. We need the trigger warnings. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm nervous. Um, guns are brought up. Um, uh, threatening someone with guns is brought up. And the people that I think were the targets of this threat have been notified so that if they want to do something with that, they can go to the FBI or to their local law enforcement because we don't, at least I know Danielle and I don't do this. We're not just streaming to like, oh my gosh, this is going to get us clicks and views. If we see something bad, we report it to the FTC. We report it to the police or we try to do our best to um, be mindful. Notify the authorities that be. Yes. Yeah, And have a purpose in the snarky remarks that we make on the internet. So I'm not just a hater that sits in my gremlin hole, like, <laughs> crapping on other people's we're, things. We're gremlins with a conscience, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, we need to do, I need to make us a new little intro with some gremlins. That would be, that would be perfect. <laughs> yes, craft crew, if you're checking in, let us know what, um... What, what are we working, working on? on? Yeah, I've got a little, I'm making a Wednesday sweater, so I've got my little crochet over here. That I'm working on the the start of it, and uh, I know some of y'all are crafters. Jay, hello. I uh, I'm sad. What did you say? Uh, she isn't cosplaying Veruca Salt. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I know that was my bad. I definitely definitely was clickbait. I I couldn't help myself. It was Easter. There were eggs in Canva. There was Jesse Lee Ward, and and uh, Easter is brought up in her stream, so it's not totally off topic, but. Um, it, it, there's no Veruca Salt, so I'm so sorry. Um, yes, M Ward isn't a joke. It's horrible to go through that experience. Um, and you're right. I will probably laugh inappropriately during this live because I'm so nervous about what was said be because mm -hmm. of my family's history with um being in the military and and stuff. We don't joke around with that shit. We just don't. We're very like, and so when I heard it, I was shocked <laughs> and I'm laughing now because like, I can't believe that someone would joke or, about stuff like that, especially as, not, it, at, at face value. Why would you choke about it? Why would you joke about it? And then secondly, with all of the things that have happened in the last few weeks, why would you joke about that? Why would you joke about that? Oh my God. Merch publicly oh, on the internet too. Like, Yeah. And just in case you all don't know, that can get you in a bunch of, of deep doo-doo. So, um, and by deep doo-doo, I mean you can get in trouble with the authorities that be. So, um, the powers that be, not like pretend powers, but like the... The real man. The real, the real powers. And um, I'm going to fix my... Sorry, my... Let me just fix this real quick. Oh, 
I don't know why my lights are so messed up, but I'm just going to make myself smaller real quick so I'm not green because um, I can't focus. All right. Okay. All right. Let me go back. Kirsten says, merch idea, gremlins with a conscience. Oh, my God. That would be so cute, though. Like, 90s style, like, character t-shirt <laughs> with, like... You know what I mean? Like a little, I'm not like an ode to My Little Pony, but, but, you know, exactly. Also, oh my God. Yes. We got to do it. I'll work on it. <laughs> You've been crocheting a granny hexagon cardigan. I love that. Oh, I wasn't trying to joke about it earlier. I misspoke. I'm working on removing that word from my vocab. Thank y'all. And I know we have grace for it. I've had to apologize a bunch of times for stuff I've said because I'm learning too. There's grace here. We have conversations here, so we're um, auto correcting in real time. We, so, oh my god, I love that. <laughs> we're, we are auto correcting in real time. Okay. I'll be like, that was a uh, um, uh, uh, wild, <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. So, do people need a spark notes or a snark notes on before they watch this, or or do you think that everyone here knows what the hell's going on? Now we wait. <laughs> so live chat, let us know if you need a, a, a crash course. Uh, snark notes, 30 seconds or less of what the hell's going on. Aaron, what's hello, up? Hello. If y'all don't already follow Aaron, you know what to do. Aaron B's in the search bar. Go follow her. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the chat. Crash course. Okay. <laughs> Jesse <Buckle> Lee Ward. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> buckle up. Put your put your headphones in, focus for, for 30 seconds. Jesse Lee Ward is the self-proclaimed number one network marketer in the world. She has been in network marketing for over 12 years now. She was let go from her first company. By let go, I mean terminated. And she was terminated from her second multi-level marketing company. She's been in Prove It for five-ish years at this point. And she claimed on one of the last live streams we listened to that she makes, she has made $16 million in the last five years with Prove It. Unfortunately, um, uh, well, I should say this. She had a run-in in, in Colombia with the internet and her team because she tricked them into going on an 18-plus hour hike and um, basically said, you didn't ask better questions, so um, you're not smart enough to get my empathy or my care about you. And but the people so, who did ask questions, she didn't give them the information they wanted anyway. So. Yes, she lied to the people that, at, that did ask questions as well. So when all of that stuff was blowing up, I think Julie Jo got, I think, a million views on her TikTok about it. I think uh, she, she had tens of thousands of views on her video, so did Aaron B's. They reacted to it together. And when the news story started coming out, and I'm not saying that this is related, we unfortunately found out and she found out that she had been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Okay. She went, this is more than 30 seconds. I'm sorry. So the timing is interesting. We feel very badly for her. Um, at least I do. I wouldn't wish cancer on my worst enemy. And uh, it's been wild listening to her go through this process, shame the doctors who <laughs> have tried, basically tried and true, but the best chance possible of therapies, um, chemo, radiation to target stuff like this. And she has been going the um, juice, ozone therapy. Uh, what's that? Um, that machine with the freaking <laughs> the sixteen thousand dollar frequency machine. She sits. Somebody let us know in the comments what it's called. And she also is laying in some kind of um tank. The pressurized. What is it called? It's some type of pressure treatment for um like when you when you what is it for? Y'all will know. Live chat will know. Anyway, she's going all the alternative routes, which would be one thing if she said. I'm choosing what I want to do with my body, but this is not the normal way to treat this very deadly disease. She's basically saying the doctors have been bought up by big pharma and their chemo pimps. Her words also mine now because I'm repeating what she said on the internet and we have gotten here. And if you think that wasn't wild enough, Aaron and Julie Joe uncovered that 
the boyfriend she has been trying to keep private off the internet for the past seven months. It wasn't for privacy's sake. It was because the dude is still married and he has three kids. And so um, it, this is not a no one should get divorced conversation. This is a oh my God, she has said she is not going to mess around with married men. And here we are again. So it's twisty AF and she went off yesterday. <laughs> so that is, you know, that was another clickbait. I'm sorry. I said 30 seconds. That's why we've gathered you all here today. We'll yes. put it in a Google doc for you to uh, catch up on later. <laughs> we need an org chart. Exactly. A, a history. Yes. Like a timeline. <laughs> Hyperbaric chamber. Sandy, thank you. She bought a hyperbaric chamber, has it in the front of her house. Do you? Okay. She's also buying cocoon water, which is a live water, and it's expensive as hell. And don't forget, and she wouldn't answer the oncologist's phone call after her the PET scan. Yep. Break out the whiteboard. I Ray got one right. I got one right here. I'll work on it. We don't need Ray Higdon. We have Danielle. So <laughs> <laughs> and 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 uh kirsten kirsten wait I, I misclicked it the dude's still on bumble as well so um it's wild here okay right someone's mentioning the red light therapy because i was oh. gonna say that i heard about that too yep i heard she's using red light therapy which is interesting because it can be used to reduce side effects from chemo it's not just for that i use it for wrist pain but it's interesting very interesting of um yes yes it's it's twisty and here we are and again the trigger warnings the content warnings in the description we're going to be talking about the big c we're going to be talking about guns and um threatening people if this is not the stream for you hop out <laughs> just hop out go watch it's something all... else it's all good we will take a pity like though just you don't have to watch it and be and feel slimed. I'm gonna drop Danielle's channel in the chat if you're not already. Go, um, Danielle, and then here's Aaron's channel. I'm not as I fast, so give me a moment, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a robot that works for me. <laughs> Trigger warning: gun violence. Um, let me see. Trigger warning gun violence has shaken my family recently and gun jokes feel so much different now. My family is gun toting, so I wouldn't have predicted gun talk making me uncomfortable, but now my stomach drops. Yeah, it, and again, as a precursor, it's very... <laughs> we talk about Jessie Lee Ward a lot because of the influence that she has on her downline, the alleged harm that I... I from my experience being in two multi-level marketing companies, I see stuff that's concerning. So does Erin, who is on Jessie Lee Ward's team. And listening to her do this, I I, I just want to warn the chat, I'm not laughing because I'm la like um, treating this, oh, this in a so light hearted way. Yeah, I'm, I might nervous laugh. And so I will apologize if I do it. It is a quirk of my personality um, when I get nervous. <laughs> I do that. I laugh. So um, I want to warn y'all. Twisty is part of my vocabulary now. I buy merch. Love that. I'm an activist. I deal with these topics all day. Today I've been fighting for healthcare rights. Love that, kitty. Um, I'm late. You're not late. We I'm long-winded as hell, so we're about to load the video in. The party's just getting started. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Where I exported it to my desktop because I had to fix the audio, and hopefully it's fixed. Oh, okay, buckle, buckle the flippity flop up. Hey Daisy. Um. Hello, hello. My mouth was agape when I wa was watching the Oct Octavia preacher woman in the pink coat suit casually mentioning guns. Uh, casually mentioning guns like she did. Yep. It's inappropriate. It, it, I, I'm trying to use words <laughs> that are probably nicer than they should be. It's it's awful the way that things are talked about. And hopefully we bring attention to it and we can talk through it here on our channels. So, and yes, thank you for 
um, licking the stream ju- uh, jump scare for the audio. Lick the stream. That is Amber, it's a kid, Declan, and she's making our stream. Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Jesse Lee. Here we go. All right. Absolutely the last gun violence in Texas school was in my district. Happened at my former boss's school where lots of friends work. That's awful, ruh I'm sorry. Okay. Hello, everybody. What's going on? It's Jesse Lee. You can call me hashtag boss Lee or the people's mentor. And you're going to get ready with me in Miami. And we're going to chat in a few days. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. I have very bad news. I got my eyelash glue stolen from Courtney and or Dawn. So I just had to door dash some eyelash glue so I can wear lashes tonight. Mm. Um, I'm wearing lashes because I'm going to this UFC fight. So I don't know if anybody's into this that watches me, but hi. Um, I got so much sun today. I really love it. <laughs> I got some sun on my buns. I look super, um, super. She's burned to hell. Oh my God. Wear some sunscreen, y'all. Please wear sunscreen. Please wear sunscreen. Just PSA. Just wear it. SPF oh is your God. friend. Yes. Super tan on TikTok, quite red on these two. So I'm hoping that it just kind of like goes down a little bit over the next couple of um, hours because, you know, maybe we'll be on television or something like that. So, hi, how are you? I'm doing great as usual. Um, so in my really gross juice today, I added tart cherry and this tart cherry tastes pretty like it helps a lot. I don't even taste the kale. So um, maybe they totally messed up the recipe. And they didn't- And I'm sorry to disappoint everyone in the chat. She's going to tell us a million times that she <laughs> that she doesn't really wear makeup anymore. So even though the last two streams that Danielle and I have done include putting on makeup. So I don't know how that plays out. Give me what I thought that they were going to give me. But if they gave me what I ordered, then I think the tart cherry helps. So still working on... Um, I'm not red on TikTok or anything. So it's not like it's not... Uh, uh, look, watch, watch. You know, it's not doing that thing where, you, like, oh, it is doing that thing. <laughs> it's pixelating on y'all's end. You know when you get burned and you press on your skin and it turns white and it stays white because you're dehydrated and your skin is burned? That is what's happening right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, That's Miami for you, man. I was a little too white when I got here, so... What can I say? Um, I don't, I, it's going to be fine. Um, oh my gosh, what is going on? My internet is so bad, so bad on TikTok because it's on this third phone. And I want to talk about the Fountain Blue for a minute here. Apparently, the Fountain Blue in Miami allegedly, I didn't pay for the room, but I was told by Dan Fleischman that it was $1,700 a night. And I will tell you, this is not a $1,700 a night hotel. Okay. Sorry, um, a little context. She's on the water. So her hotel is on the water in Miami. So it might not be the best inside. And I know this doesn't really matter, but like she's dissing a free room that was paid for her to be there to train with whatever this mastermind was. But the location wise, like you have to take that into account for pricing. So I know that doesn't matter. I'm just... I'm just annoyed already. And I cannot be annoyed this early in the stream. <laughs> she just needs something to complain about at yep. all times. Yep. I don't know what you're doing. Um, and I haven't cross-checked that with Google. That's just from Dan. So who knows? Um, but I will tell you, let's talk about the elevator situation and how it never comes. And then um, we can talk about how uh, the internet doesn't work. <laughs> So I don't know. $1,700 a night. I feel like you should have one or the other. Pick a struggle. You know, it's like when a roof. Um, I'm sorry to say this again, and I know Danielle's sick of me telling it, but if her each of her phones, if all of the apps are still open, like it, like if she didn't close out every single app, every each one of her phones is continuing to refresh as it's connected to the internet. So her computer's connected, her three phones are connected, so it's four devices in whatever, a Wi-Fi thing. If she would just stream from one platform... If she would stream like through promo VGram or grab some kind of the RTMP links from her her sites and she could stream through StreamYard or she could stream through Restream to every single platform so that only one device was connecting. Doesn't matter. 
It matters to me, apparently. I'm just anno- <laughs> I'm just annoyed already. Um, no, and I also want to touch on Karina's comment because I was thinking the same thing. Like, if you run this multi-million dollar business, get a data plan where you can just stream from your phone without the free Wi-Fi. Like, what is happening? Yes. If I go yep. to a coffee shop and they don't have internet, I just use my phone to my laptop. Like, <laughs> Yes. That's a great point, Karina. Yeah. That, that's a great point. Um... She's been doing this for almost a decade now. Oh, wait. Sorry. What is it with her advertising? What's she doing? Where she's staying? Stuff she gets for free and bashing it out of the other side of her mouth. That's wild. She's been doing this situation for a very long time. Rude people are also ugly. I'm like, pick a struggle. You could be rude or you could be ugly, but both. You're really stretching it here, people. Um, so I guess we're not going to be on TikTok, actually, because this is not functioning. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible news. But then it just gave me a Snapchat, and now it's giving me telegrams. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. What primer is that? This is this YSL primer, and it's the... Oh, I can't say it. It's in French. Touch Eclat Blur Primer. I really like it. So when I do a full face makeup, which is very rare these days, uh, I like to use it. Continue. Thank you for the prayers. Appreciate you guys. I do feel great. Hell yeah. Um, this was the first week where I didn't get to have all those treatments and stuff that I have been doing um, back home. So uh, that makes that made me like a little nervous, except for I brought all my supplements here. So I drank that oxygen water the whole time I was here. I did every single thing that I was supposed to do, um, supplement wise, herbal tea wise, all that stuff. So, um, I'm not actually worried or anything like that, but, uh, what can I say? You're always on TikTok. I love TikTok, but, um, I picked that phone to put TikTok on and the internet was just not good enough. So anyway, I'm going to the fights tonight in uh, Miami. So if you're in Miami and you're going to UFC, I have no idea where we will be. Although I have a feeling it will be pretty decent. Uh, so I got invited by Eric, whose mastermind I spoke at this weekend. So Eric's going, I'm going, Wes Watson's going, Sean Whalen and his wife Sachs are going. Uh, I think Dan Fleischman's going, um, I think all of the usual suspects. I think we're all going to watch men and women punch each other in the faces. Okay. Sorry. Trivia time. Live chat. Let let um Danielle and I know if you're in our live chat or her live chat or my live chat or her live chat. Who do you think showed up to the fight? Who do you think showed up to the fight? And it's a pretty famous person. Go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'll keep playing. I don't even know the answer. (laughs) Uh, Which is new for me, you know? Uh, Not really my kind of sport, but I feel like maybe it is my... Oh, too much. Maybe it is my sport, you know? Maybe what I need to do is get into this so that when people try to mess with me, I can become Uh, a threat, you know? (laughs) I'm really feisty already, though, but um, not to be... Buddy. I I say buddy sarcastically because I am... I... (laughs) Lots of frustrations and and I don't want to cuss. Like I'm gonna cuss, but I don't wanna I don't wanna demonetize my stream, so we're just gonna press play. Yep. Messed with in general, but uh usually I just deal with my problems with the use of lawyers and uh yep. things of that nature. But maybe I'll get real I wax my eyebrows. Maybe I'll get really inspired tonight by these UFC people, and then I'll just take a change of heart and I'll become a UFC fighter. You know? Maybe that'll be my new career path. Um, but anyway, we, I did hear something during the mastermind actually. Well, actually, I don't know if it was during the mastermind. Maybe it was during a conversation where they were saying, yeah, I was during a conversation last night on the yacht. We were on Eric's yacht and Chase Hero actually said, you know, think about it. What was the very first sport? And I was going to be like, oh, I just stayed quiet. Cause I'm like, I don't know, soccer, <laughs> um, fighting, you know, fighting apparently. Now I haven't Google checked that one either. So I don't know the prices of the fountain blue and I don't know, the, I don't know if fighting is I don't think she's capable of not yelling. I I don't know though. I don't know her personally. I've just listened to way too many hours of of content that's available publicly, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe so. like Jesse Lee speaks at a normal volume, but hashtag Boss Lee only knows how to yell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It's the first ever sport there was, but that's what the boys said. Um, not that they're necessarily right. Okay, okay. Um, you're just recovering from the surgery where they removed part of your colon. Glad you're fit and healthy too. You're always in 
inspiration. Thank you for that. And I hope your recovery goes really well. Um, once I go to a live UFC event, it'll change. Yeah. Look how crazy this color difference looks right now. Oh God, what can I say? Turn into Tam, please turn into Tam right now. This looks very bizarre. Uh, but anyway, it'll look fine. So what can I say? Um, yeah. So wasn't really a fan of this, but anyway, had a really amazing week. The mastermind was great. I'm really grateful for all these, for all my friendships that are here and the new connections that I made. Wrestling is regarded as the oldest sport in the world. What? Jesse Lee just telling us something that's inaccurate? No, I say it isn't so. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll 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 be taking breaks. We're going to try to get through this. It's not the longest video, but I know that she I know that this is a stress this is a stress watch for some of y'all. Don't stress yourself out. There's no point in getting slimed on Sunday night right before the work week the work week start. So, you know, if if it gets too much or you're having like a physiological reaction, pop out of the chat. Um, so grateful I was asked to speak. A lot of speaking gigs keep coming up, like a lot of big, uh, big stages keep messaging me over the last week or so. And then this just kind of catapulted it, which is very exciting. No, this does not burn. And I never do my makeup anymore. That's a burn. That's a burn. That is definitely a burn. I have fair skin, and that's what I look like when I get a burn. Yeah. <laughs> I just it, – it, and why does it matter? I know it, some people who are watching this are huge fans of Jesse Lee Ward, and, and you're saying, why are you picking on her? She got burned. It's the whole – saying something completely opposite from reality – it, and that is a pattern of behavior of, oh, this that you're looking at with your own eyes, that's not that. It's this that's this completely different thing. And she does it with other situations as well. So it's just it's mostly a she doesn't just do this in this situation with this non-important thing. She does it with big interpersonal things with her downline, with the relationship she shows on her platform. So exactly. Oh, screenshot so we're just gonna let the foundation do its thing and i'm not gonna get new okay. foundation um it'll be fine in the end i'm gonna look great so don't worry about it um it, it doesn't look that bad it doesn't feel bad <laughs> but don't worry about it, sweetheart don't worry about it, sweetheart she does um i'll hydrate it it'll be fine and it'll be tan by you know 7 p.m or something like that um okay hold on doordash is messaging me can That's i get doordash on this phone too yes Okay, hold on. Give me the DoorDash. Give me the DoorDash. I couldn't get this out. Sorry, she has a freaking window open. It's saying my eyelash glue that I picked was out of stock, and so I have to get more. I have to choose something different. Okay, hold on. Oh, my Lanta. It just messaged me, but... Okay, what is with this internet? I can't handle it. All right, we have to do my makeup, though. We data. can't talk too much because, um... <laughs> I have to uh I have to go down there and get get my um I have to go down there and I have to get my uh eyelash glue in a couple of minutes. So you, they make you go all the way down to the bottom of the tower. It's very She specifically said she will not get foundation that matches her skin tone because she doesn't do her makeup anymore. So she just basically makes it work. That's what she said. I'm just I'm trying to keep I know everyone doesn't have time to watch all of her stuff. I'm just <laughs> I don't know. I'm just telling out what she said that she's just, you know, she's going to make it work because she doesn't do her makeup anymore. She doesn't glam out anymore. She's all natural. Barbaric. Just kidding. Uh, and so I fly back to Texas tomorrow morning. First flight. First flight so I can go to Easter Sunday, which I don't know about y'all, but that is definitely my favorite service of the year. So I toggle between Christmas and Easter, but the Christmas service I went to this year was like not that exciting. Um, I like the big pomp and circumstance and fanfare of services. And I know that this Easter service is going to be crazy. So I can't wait. Um, and I'm really excited for that. So I'm leaving at, on the very first flight back to Texas tomorrow morning, which gets me super happy that I'll be back to church, be back there for church on time. And it's very like applicable right now for obviously what's going on in my life. Because if you think about it, it's like, 
you know, it's really easy to get frustrated with all the cancer stuff, but I've really not been, okay, to say I've not been focused on it is a big lie, of course, but I'm still focusing on things that are really important to me and then focusing really aggressively on finding joy, like searching what the things that are making me super joyful in my life and putting a ton of intention and energy into that. I think it's a great example, like Saturday and on and between Good Friday and, and today, um, it's just a good reminder that Sunday is coming. And for me, it's kind of a metaphor for this as well, where it's like, my Sunday's coming, you know, right now might be um, a little like, why me? What is going on? Um, and then it's just such a beautiful reminder. You know, you're, I always have coached you guys really aggressively to have um, faith over fear. And- I'm sorry. Is she comparing herself to Jesus? Indeed she is. What okay. is I'm like, am I hearing this correctly? Uh, if can someone can someone who's more um uh, religiously like learned can you tell us like what how do we get how, what are you, what is she talking about yeah she's an episcopalian oh my god I, oh my god i don't i don't know i just don't it's bold it, that's a bold category that I would never. Uh, I wouldn't. I mean, most people don't throw themselves into that category. I. I think. Um, yeah. Where's Julie Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, please. Yes. And oh, really funny. Oh, resurrection. So I think she's saying that she's gonna like be resurrected when her cancer is gone. Is that the parallel she's drawing here? Yeah, the twisty parallel. The 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 parallel that seems a little blasphemous, but okay. Yeah, no one tell Ray Ray. Seriously. Anything happened last week, actually, at church. I want to tell you guys this story. It's really funny. Courtney busted out laughing at me, but okay. um, I think one thing I really like. And I, I do want to be fair. Bunny's Island said, I think she is just talking about how Easter Sunday represents something better than, say, Good Friday. Oh. And I do want to be fair. I am definitely biased against um, Jesse Lee Ward. So I do like some of these comments that help bring the clarity because... This does jump around a lot for me, and I really appreciate that, Bunny. Like about church is that if you get a really great pastor, you end up getting um, somebody who can just really move you with their words, right? And so, this pastor is insanely talented. He was um, he was actually the president of the Southern Baptist Church for a few years, which I'm guessing you know he probably get voted into that or something like that. Which means people must have really liked how he preached. So anyway, so I. I'm really into his preaching style. I really enjoy it. It's biblical. It's not theoretical. It's not this um, everybody get rich philosophy that a lot of churches these days seem to be preaching and harping on, um, which I want y'all to get rich, but I don't want to go to church and hear about how I need to make money to to do whatever, you know? So, um, so at any rate, so he said, he said he was preaching about peace last week. And I thought this was powerful to begin with. And his sermon was amazing or whatever it's called in a Baptist church. I don't know what it's called. I'm, I grew up as Episcopalian. Um, and he was talking about, hey, if your problems are big enough to worry about, don't you think your problems are big enough to pray about? And I was so into the preaching that I went, oh, shit. In the middle of the service, it was really funny. Um, Courtney busted out laughing. Joshua busted out laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't mean to cuss in the middle of church in front of thousands of people, but whatever. You know, I was, I was moved. I was moved by it. So I did. I cussed in church, but, uh, I really loved that. I just thought to myself, gosh, like I wish more people had that kind of thought process going through their minds when things are, are not going well. So, uh, do I have moments of stress around this? Yeah, sure. Uh, but am I actually as not really lighthearted, but as positive thinking around this as I, as I seem online? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Um, I know that God gives battles that you can handle. And so, for all of us, not just me. God gives you battles that you can handle. It's not too big for you. That's why you're given the, um, the struggles that you have in your life. At least I believe that. And I just think this is no different. I think it's a great opportunity for me to use my platform to help people get healthy. What? Even healthier. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for me to tell y'all to get your freaking money up and start. I'm going to teach you all how to get healthy by telling you to deny proper medical treatment and tell you things like don't go get mammograms and don't get x-rays and don't do all of these things that are medically proven to help you because I am smarter than every doctor I've ever met. Yeah. 
And then she's going to make correlations that don't even scientifically make sense. She's going to say, oh, well, this caused this. Or because this person asked this question, it means that they think that this did this. And it's like, how did we get here? Oh, my God. It's 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 wild. And she's thinking that it, what's even twistier, Danielle, is that because she's a Christian and no shade to the Christians in the chat. Because she's a Christian, she's going to think that anybody speaking out against her behavior means that she's doing the right thing because she believe Christians believe that they are going to be like persecuted or they uh, for their faith and, and and because she's relatively vocal about her Christianity, I think that it is like a confirmation bias for herself that she's not even open to listening to anybody if they're speaking up because of some of those foundational things that she believes as a Christian. Um, and it's twisty is what I'm trying to say. And most, most ethical Christians who understand or like who are not harming others with their faith don't, they can take critique. Basically they're not, they're not saying like, Oh my gosh, everything is coming against me because I'm a Christian and in anybody like standing up to me means that I'm on the right path. And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that you should not be <laughs> um, twisting the hell out of this and influencing the people below you for harm. That That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not attacking you for your, for, you know, you choosing to be a Christian. Oh, my God. No offense, Jesse Lee Ward, but I don't want health advice from someone in denial about having stage four big C. Just saying. Um, yeah. And again, Ray Higdon does the same thing. Ray Higdon is that confirmation bias because he has announced that he's a prophet now allegedly for i mean that's what he's he's done and that the people speaking up are coming against him it's com confirming like oh i'm on the right path because i'm getting resistance because he associates any feedback or any negative feedback with oh they're standing up to me or they're fighting against me because i was told this was going to happen in the bible so uh paying for coaches and mentors and get yourself around the right rooms and the right people. So your network is big and strong for when something like this happens. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but in case it happens and I was, you know, I'm about, I'm actually late. I was supposed to see Wes hours ago, but whatever. Um, Wes and I are going to run drive over to Eric's house together, but we were talking about, or we had a conversation and, uh, or it wasn't a conversation. So he was on stage yesterday and he was saying, he's like, why? He's like, do you even understand why you need to pay to be coached by, by her or by me or by who, you know, he's like listening, Eric and Sean or whatever, our networks, like you are not getting access to me. If you're not in my platinum program, like you're not getting access no. to my network. If you're not going to master, you're not, I'm not going to make phone calls for you that you need unless you're in my inner circle. Like mine's called accelerator, obviously, but not even, and not normal accelerator. No, like I need to know who you are. I need to have a relationship with you. And I only have a relationship with people that are in my top tier coaching. It's the only, it's the I only possibility. There's a thousand people yep. in my goal. And that's not what that's not the sales pitch that she did at the very beginning when she was starting the accelerator. She was saying, if you want access to me, you pay for the accelerator. Now she's qualifying it and saying, you better freaking pay the top tier of the accelerator if you want access to me. And it's like, oh, my God, the story continues to change. Or any of my like, this is the part that seems wild to me, because I just think like from a business perspective, if you came to me and you were like, you know, I want to start, you know, my own graphic design business. I need some clients. Do you know anyone you could refer me to for me to be like, I can't tell you any of my friends that are looking for graphic design help until you pay me thousands of dollars to join my mastermind. It's like, I can't make any phone calls or recommendations for you until you give me money. Like, it, oh, it's so gross to me. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And, and again, I want to be careful. Um, I were, I think, well, we're trying we're trying to be respectful to the Christians in the live chat. Like we're trying to talk about the twisty parts of how she is manipulating her beliefs and how that manipulation can harm others who she is able to influence. And it is not, at least it's not for me. And I don't think it's for Danielle either. Um, we're not saying, Oh my gosh, if you're a Christian, you're not welcome here. That's not the case at all. 
So I think there's some incredibly moral and ethical Christians in the live chat, like Charlene um, and others that I'm <laughs> forgetting right now, be and Melissa. Um, and if you're not a Christian, that's cool too. We're, I know sometimes like our biases can get into that more extreme conversation. And if you have very strong, um, perspectives against a religion, that's your personal experience. I'm just trying to make the live chat as accommodating and civil and respectful of a place as possible that we can. And I know it's hard because when we are talking about inflammatory people <laughs> like Jesse Lee Ward, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, in my gold accelerator, I can't get to know everybody. So you got to get your, you got to figure that out. Um, but I really was like, huh, eh, he's not wrong. And so then we had a conversation around it. He's like, I don't care. And then I asked him a question. I said, I do have a question for you. I said, do you get yelled at by people on the internet when you're super direct about that? Because if you don't know Wes, he will literally send you a video where he says, you fucking idiot, you fucking loser, get your fucking money right. You you better pay me $15,000 right now, you fucking loser. And his whole thing is he's like, those people are breaking character in their homes too. You know, they're asking their wives for free favors. In his case, it's mostly many coaches, right? They're asking their wives for free favors. They're asking their friends to, to be lax on things. He's like, not around me. He's like, that's not, that's not, that doesn't function around me. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. And the crazy thing is, well, it's not even that crazy. I guess he's like, people want you to yell at them. They want to figure out how you got where you are. And you got where you are, Jesse Lee, because you're an incredibly hard nosed, tough woman who doesn't take shit from people. I was like, yeah. He's like, when you get yelled at, what do you do? I said, I rise to the occasion. He's like, right. That's what winners do. I was like, oh my God. Uh, uh, it sounds like she is advocating or reinforcing this idea that verbal abuse is okay. That's what and I was going to say. Like, she just surrounds herself with people who believe that this kind of behavior is appropriate, is what I'm taking away from this, yeah. this, this conversation. And and if and if you've ever gotten out of a high control relationship where it was um where you were harmed in it, this can be extra twisty because <laughs> you you're looking to figure out how to do the right stuff and you've been controlled before and you think like you're trying to follow the rules and you think, wow, these elite people, they said that the very top of the top of the top get yelled at and they like it and you can you uh, that's a slippery slope it is a super slippery slope and and you you don't have to be in that kind of training environment to figure out how to be successful you absolutely do not you don't have to do it in a sports situation you don't have to do it in a work situation and you certainly don't have to do it in a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship situation Oh my God. Like, all right. Okay. Um, but I've spent obviously a lot of money to get in the rooms and now I'm in the rooms and now I'm the one leading the rooms and hey, Dre. life changes when you spend um, money like that. So Holy. Dre was in uh, the empire as well. He has done streams with Aaron and Julie Joe. I'm going to grab his link and I'm going to drop it in the chat for y'all to follow him. He does, um, he does uh, cooking um, streams and he also is a guest on Aaron and Julie Joe's channel as well. So um, Dre has a lot of tea. Yeah. Um, so he's super aggressive though, and I think it's incredible what he does. Um, and these guys really are changed. It's cool. I was watching some of their stories because a lot of them are tagging me and stuff now. So hi, if you're from Wes. Um, and their stuff is like it's not it's not them talking about the business advice that Wes gave them. It's them talking about how Wes made them realize how freaking weak they are, how weak minded they are, how they're lazier than hell, how they're not going to the gym, how they're fat, how they're unhealthy, how they're uh, lying to their families about stuff, how they're spending money on dumb stuff, how they're drinking, how they're doing drugs, how they're undisciplined, how they don't go to the gym every morning. Um, and they were just saying, you know, you get disciplined and that kind of stuff in life, and then your whole life changes. Okay, there's a difference between being disciplined in like your habits and routines and like being weak and shitty basically is what she's saying like what is happening yeah and it certainly doesn't take into account like l physical limitations of individuals and in, uh, life circumstances that have impeded your ability to be able to do those things like what is going on 
Yeah, and can you imagine anybody joining her team and getting exposed to this kind of thought process and being the exact person who is not able to participate in all of her wild ideas about how people are supposed to excel and then they somehow think there's something wrong with me. Absolutely not. Oh my exactly. God. Yeah, Stevie's saying fat phobic, ableist, classist, racist. Exactly. It's everything. Yep. yep. And if you, and again, if you're still learning about all this stuff, the this twisty stuff that goes on, it, it's a process. And if you think, hey, something is wrong here and I can't quite put my finger on it. It, it, it takes a while to learn some of this stuff. And then when you can, it, it feels a little bit less like you're um, <laughs> that you're flailing about because sometimes it's like there's something wrong, but I don't have the right words to say. And, and then if you are if you are butting up with someone like this, like with Jesse Lee Ward and you say, hey, something's wrong with your mindset and how you're speaking. And she's going to come back and say, well, you just don't make enough money to even be having this conversation with me because you're not successful. How many zoom calls did you do this week? How many things, how many live streams did you do? How much did you sell? And, and that is totally separate. It's totally different. It's like, no, no, your views about people are the issue. That's exactly. the problem. It's not like, Oh my God. I could say so many things. You would be here all night. Oh, my God. Hmm. Um, so I know apparently a lot of people like to get yelled at. Who knew? Uh, so who knew? You know, a lot of you got. And it was funny because as soon as I said, it, I was like, I don't know if I could just start yelling at people. And Courtney goes, dude, I've always loved when you yell at me. <gasps> Court- I'm like, really? Court- She's like, uh, always. And so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start yelling. Sit down, Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. No. Just because someone has a twisty relationship with the uh, author- the authoritarian group leader does not mean she is using that to um, confirm confirmation bias. I don't know. It, she's using it to confirm a, a, a broken idea about, hey, should I be yelling at people? Oh, yeah. I love when you yell at me. <laughs> what? The same person that said, hey, we're going to be doing gentle parenting. We're both going to be doing gentle parenting. And then Jessie Lee decided that wasn't going to work for her god kids. Are you serious? No. God. But anyway, then I asked him, I said, you know, do you get all the hate on the internet? Because as soon as I say one thing or, like, name it, it doesn't matter. All of a sudden it's like, oh, Jessie Lee with the attitude, with the da-da-da. Can you believe she said that? He goes, absolutely. All those broke, poor, ugly, fucking losers. (laughs) I was like, ah, touche. He's got a point. Those poor, ugly, broke losers. So people's, again, it's the same thing. People apparently to Jesse Lee Ward only have value if they make a shit ton of money. They have to be in the inner circle. And the only way to get to the inner circle is to have the means to be able to pay to be in the inner circle. So basically what I'm learning from this is that in order to be accepted by Jesse Lee Ward, not only do I have to be successful in terms of my wealth, but I also have to decide to want to spend that hard-earned money to like pay her to be my friend. Yeah. Yep. So Christ-like, exactly, Melissa. Like what the what the heck? Kirsten, I'm right there with you. Poor broke ugly loser. Right here. Yep. yep. Raise your hand. <laughs> Throw a hand in the live chat if we're if if we're you know the poor broke ugly losers that you know, damn. <laughs> God, is this Scientology now? I don't know. We're it's so twisty here. We don't know what's going on. He's got a point. He's got a point. That wasn't a too um, So I'm gonna work on my aggression. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, it was interesting because another way to explain that I guess is actually boundaries. He just has really strong boundaries around. Like right here. Um, so I'm not going to do this. I'm going to use the West example. Like the question, what way do you like to yeah. keep motivated? Oh, yeah. I would say I don't answer questions like that for free. Oh, you can I join mean, my platinum mean, program. It's $3,000 a month. I'll answer it there. We'll um, but he would say it really aggressively also. You know, he would he would get. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, but he said every response to everything is like that. Like you want you want a response from him? Go buy his program. I'm like, oh, is that my problem? Do I give away too much for free? Yes. Um, but I will answer that question right now because um, all the guys operate like this. Yes. 
by the way, I wasn't talking about Charmaine. I'm talking about Wes. Um, but what's really interesting is I don't think any of you are actually searching for motivation, but you use that word a lot. That word gets misused constantly. You're not looking for motivation. You're looking for something to actually inspire you. Um, you're looking for something that, that you want to do in your life. And I find that if you're just doing businesses and uh, following passions that you actually are passionate about, the motivation is not something you're looking for. Now, are there things I don't feel like doing that I do? Sure. But when I look at what I'm doing with my life, is it more like the long-term goal and what I'm happy? She did say that. Her elite level of coaching costs $3,000 a month, $36,000 a year. Holy moly. <laughs> Danielle's about to lose her mind. Oh, my God. Not interested. Thank you. Next. If y'all don't know, Danielle debunks bullshit business coaching stuff on her channel. Now, she does anti-MLM. That's how we found each other. But she is she helps people cut through, like, the, uh, I don't know, the twistiness of the coaching industry and basically says, like, this is a scam and this is not a scam. And and really, like, we'll tell it to you straight and not, uh, I'm actually going to yell at you kind of way, but in a, hey, this is a simplified way and let's let's um, take apart different opportunities and we can walk through it so you can learn for yourself. And she's incredible. So And understand, like, why it's a scam because they all yes. look the same at the end of the day. So you yes. just got to freaking... And email me. If you're like, oh, I want to sign up for this thing and I don't know if it's real, you can just ask me and I will look through it for you. Like, yeah. It's pretty easy to decipher once you know what you're looking for. Yep. Yep. Danielle is the best. Save I'm your money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so definitely check her out. And what's happening in my life? Does it all go in coinciding with, uh, with, a, with, with a passion project? Yeah, it does. So, yeah, it's not concealer that's stressing you out. I'm Good baking channel. my face because I'm in Miami. And I don't want to get oily. Um, all right. So up next, since Don Allen, who's watching right now, hey, stole my uh, stole my lash glue. You know, that's what friends are for. Okay. Stealing your lash glue. This this video is from yesterday, I think. I think it's from yesterday. I downloaded it. I'm pretty sure it's from yesterday. Yeah, because she was talking about going to church today. Yeah. Oh, Charlene has a good. Uh, she, if y'all don't know, and I guess we could watch it. Jessie Lee on one of her lives said that she was going to be going to every single service um, up to Easter Sunday. So at her church, they have a they have a service every day. She's been in Miami for the past five days. So we're just wondering again. It's just another. It's another repet. Like um, it's another consistent behavior of lying to us. And maybe her plans changed. Okay, it just is wild that it continues to happen. Hey, I'm going to do this. No. Hey, I'm going to do this. No. It's just strange. It's just strange. Ooh. Just kidding. Uh, but I really think she did steal it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to blame her on live and shame her in the chat, but I'm not really sure if she was the one that did do it, but maybe she didn't. But, okay, I don't really care about people enough to actually be kind to them. Okay, Jesse Lee, what? Can you imagine? I don't know. I would have no friends left if I did this to people. I don't get it. I don't I don't understand it. Oh my god. Yeah, she flew back last night or this morning and she went to church today. Uh, let's see. You followed so many new people from you posting and, ta and them tagging you good people. Yeah, dude, like my they're like my brothers. That's, That's interesting. They're like my big scary tatted brothers. Good point, Korea. Who have tried to maybe the church does offer virtual services and again i love when the live chat comes through and adds additional perspectives and i am the first one to say my bias can get in the way of critiquing something in a in a good like way or in a more complete way and i love when the live chat does this so thank you so much korea i kill a lot of people in the past <laughs> oh, so uh what could I say? That's what I feel like when I'm around them. Like I feel like like baby sister or something like that. That uh what? that they're all protecting and loving. It's really funny. I don't know how to explain it. When Wes was telling some of these prison stories, or even pre prison stories, oh. shooting people, shooting them in their sorry, uh content warning here. We talked about this at the beginning. She's about to talk about the gun part. So um just 
one. Sorry, can you just give me context? I don't know who this guy is she's talking about. Was he in prison? Yes. Um, okay. He uh, was he. It's either Eric Spofford. He's been in Runnings with the Law. Um, uh, a few of the guys that she's hanging out with. It, and no, no shade. If you, mm-hmm. no shade at all. Um, the, but what she's about to do with that, what she's about to say is inappropriate. Okay. Um, she she did just mention that. Let me rewind it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, so uh, what can I say? That's what I feel like when I'm around them. Like I feel like like baby sister or something like that. That uh, that they're all protecting and loving. It's really funny. I don't know how to explain it. When Wes was telling some of these prison yeah. stories, or even pre prison stories, shooting people, shooting them in their stomachs and their right. legs, yeah. and I'm like, yep. oh my god, and he. <laughs> He's like, when I got arrested, I didn't know what I was getting arrested for. I thought I was getting arrested for shooting the guy that I shot the day before. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I've lived such a basic life. I've never shot anybody. Maybe that's my problem. I have some people that could be my first targets. I'm kidding. I've never shot anybody. Maybe that's my problem. I have some people that would be my first targets. This is not something to fucking joke about. And if you, I, it's not a joke. You can get in trouble for this, like legal trouble. I, On a public platform, again, keep in mind that she has like, what, thousand hundred thousand followers. followers on Instagram? Yep. <sighs> and then she's about to say, I'm just joking, but my friends would probably do it for me. It, it, I just, she's done this before. Melissa says that's not a basic life. That's called following the law. I would also say that's just like, you know, morality, you know, not wanting to shoot people, maybe. Yeah. I, <sighs> this is called, oh, Shelby is our, is our legal buddy in the chat. One second. This is called stochastic. Is it stochastic terrorism? She throws it out there and her minions may take up her task. Yeah, I didn't Uh, even actually think of that. Like the idea of the influence that she has. Yeah, because she she has, I mean, she has tons of followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, 319, I think, thousand. TikTok has 80 to 100. Maybe it's 125 now. I don't remember. Facebook gets a tons of views, so she, I I don't know how many she has on Facebook, but it's a lot. This is awful. Kidding, I wouldn't do that. I shouldn't say that either, because then people are going to take that out of context. I don't even have a gun, so chill out. Do people in my life have guns? Yes. See, that's the, again, you're going to say, I was just kidding, I shouldn't say that, because people would take that out of context. But do I know people who have guns? Then you completely took away your apology or the fact that you're just kidding because that's still... God. You're saying the same thing without saying the same thing. Yep. I... I I wonder who she could possibly be talking about. Yep. Who the hell is Wes? He is part of her mastermind bullshit program that's super expensive to go to. Can you imagine the the people who love Jesse Lee Ward are very committed to supporting her and defending her. So this is not a joke to to talk about what she's talking about. It's not a joke. Um, hasn't she said before that Avi can't leave her or she'll have someone? No, I think she was saying Avi would take um Avi would take someone out for her. She said that. On one of her lives. And we have it downloaded because what the what the hell's going on? I need to it yeah, it's wild. Will Wes probably threaten you? Yeah. Will Eric Will Wes probably threaten you? Yeah. Eric? Definitely. Whole lot of people. Spofford? Yeah. Whole lot of people, yeah. Eric Spofford, Wes, all the people she's hanging out with, she's like, Oh, I'm just kidding, but they might hurt you. Are you serious? So, uh, what can I say? What All right, say? so... Don't say it. It's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. It's wrong to do that with how much influence you have. Go on. Back 
to uh, our normal program where we don't talk about shooting people because I I don't shoot people. <laughs> people are like, what the hell? Jesse it's Lee went not dumb funny. This- it's not. I don't. Just let's just casually hang out with M words. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know what to make of this. It's worse than I expected, and so much um, yikes. Uh, r- right. I think here's here's one of the parts, Christy. Th- and I don't want to burn my channel down. So live chat, please take this with a. W- please have some grace with what I'm about to try to say because I never want to talk about guns or politics <laughs> on my channel. When we talk about the law, though, I'm not a lawyer. I'm saying that what you are doing, what she is doing, and joking around with with tools that kill people is a no. You can get into actual trouble for it. And also, you can inc- you can incite violence by you saying stuff like that. Um, and people know who Jesse Lee Ward has beefs with. That's the issue. And and the 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 influence part of the conversation is so important because um, because of everything that's happened in, in the past several years and the the awful things that are happening in schools with schools getting shot up and I'm not trying to be political. I'm saying that I'm very biased against kids getting shot. I'm very biased against racism. I'm very biased against anti-Semitism. So I'm not going in. Sharon says so. Um, she has said something like that as as well on her channel. And it's like, I'm not going to give you the flip side of that. I think that we should protect kids. I think that guns are serious and that you shouldn't joke around with them. And And even in the context of all the awful things that have happened in the U.S. with shootings recently, why is she joking about it in such a flippant manner? On her live stream. Uh, I just. Read the room. I I will ask though. I will ask the live chat. And I want to be. I, I want to. I do think that there needs to be some reform. With the police. I want to be as respectful as possible. Because I don't. I don't want to get too into topics that I emotionally cannot like talk about. Well, I, I just, I don't, if, if that is, I want to think about it, but I don't want to use hashtags about defunding the police if possible. And I may change my mind going forward. I I, just give me some time to think about it. Okay. So I'm sorry. (laughs) Uh, It's, inner circle mastermind with these boys and now now the conversations are around shooting people look guys you don't have to worry about me i'm not really a threat i'm not a threat um i'm drinking uh so i added tart cherry juice to the juice today to try to cover i know you have the knowledge on these topics kitty uh i'm just i i need to figure out as i as i help curate conversations here on my channel i'm not trying to create a conversation that doesn't include all the topics i'm trying to do what i can to talk about something well and also learn and talk about new things as we grow and i really take it very seriously about doing content warnings and trigger warnings about conversations so if there is going to be a conversation about that which i'm open to um, I want to make sure that the people in the live chat understand that because there are some people and I'm one of those sensitive <laughs> Susies that I want to warn people about what we're talking about because some people it getting surprised with a topic. It's really hard. And if you're not the type of person that, 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 that has a hard time being surprised with topics, it's hard to explain, but I at least want to, I at least want to let people know. Hey, if you're running into our live stream, this is what we're going to be talking about. These are the topics that are going to be brought up. And if you want to participate, you're welcome to. And that there's prepared to mentally and emotionally engage with the conversation. 
So I that's I didn't mean to like derail, but I just want to I just wanted to I'm, I'm doing the best I can. So cover up some of this kale and carrot flavor and it tastes so good that I have a level of concern that they didn't even put kale in it. I feel like it's just a cherry drink. Yeah, and Kitty, I would love to I would uh, Kitty, absolutely I would love to um uh maybe get some information I could do a, a stream totally on that. I'm not opposed to not talking about it at all and I'm not trying to silence um, I'm not trying to silence you if it feels like that. If it, if I'm saying things in a bad way where I am doing the wrong kind of curation, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm happy to learn and we can get an email going. I'm, I want to, I want to learn. I just also want to make sure that I, I just think it's important, at least for right now, until I get better at it, that um, that everyone knows what we're going to be talking about at the beginning of this stream. So thank you, though. And, and I'll put my email in the chat if anyone wants to email me. But then it's a little, like, textured, so maybe not. You know, that's what Wes does to you. I love it. I know, right? Like, he's so wild. He's down at the pool right now, turning into a lobster, he said. I was supposed to meet him two hours ago, and then I got stuck on a phone call. And I was laying in bed, and I was finding a scammer that's out there scamming people. I was doing the Lord's work. Uh, so, yeah. Do I still have the sniffles? Yes, you do. I don't know. Have I had the sniffles? Oh, my God. I haven't even noticed. So, if that's I've got the sniffles, I'm sorry. I'm I don't know. Uh, I, I, I feel great. I feel great. Uh, just keeping my immune system up, you know, doing the most. Smart ad. Tart cherry is fantastic for you. It's if it's straight concentrate. Yeah, I got it from Smoothie King. So um, I've been trying a lot of different ones. So I might fill it. I don't know. I just used, used that like fi that fiber gel. And then I might go in with this little guy really fast because this one is like growing in strange. I don't know what's happening in this side of my eyebrow world. But um no, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, obviously, she traveled for keynote. Naomi, I don't know what you're answering for them, but thank you, my girl. How's, sur how's surgery recovery going? You just joined me in the accelerator. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Do I drink? No. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. There were some times. This is different. She didn't do it for a while. Then she did do it. And then now she's saying she doesn't anymore, which fine. I'm just saying it's twisty. She could have said, I occasionally drink and it doesn't matter. I, I, it, it does matter. If you're sober, that's an incredibly difficult path to walk if you are constantly fighting with that. And she has several people on her team who who exploit their sobriety and exploit others on their sobriety journey by saying that ketones have helped them get sober. So she she oscillates. And so it's just... It's just twisty here. It's just way twisty. And I guess I'm the type of person that I just want to know. I, and I, y'all know how I am with the live chat. I want like people to know what we're talking about. I like a plan. I like consistency, <laughs> you know, and it's like it. So when something like Jesse Lee, it's like, well, who am I joining? Are you this or are you that? Or at least you're going to tell me if we've shifted and you're not going to gaslight me because I did remember what you used to say two years ago or four years ago, because Words matter to me. I don't. They don't seem to matter sometimes to Jesse Lee Ward. I don't think they ever do because yeah. it's like even if you do remember and you call me out and you showed me this live video where I said this thing, she's gonna be like, "Well, that doesn't matter. That's not what I'm saying today." Yeah. Not like in the past, I'd have like a cocktail here and there, but I don't even like how it tastes. Like, why does it gotta taste so bad? And then I like being in control. So uh, drinking for me just you know takes you out of takes you out of control. Well, I can't pack trials from Miami. I don't live in Miami yet. <laughs> two years ago, it's like two but you guys can order trials. My trial link in the link in the bio. And when I get home tomorrow, 
Um, I can do that. I do have a lot of sun today. My, my chest is red, but like everything else is beautiful and brown. Like this is all brown. Like look at this. Wow. Look at that tan line. Everyone, here's the ugly belly button update. I couldn't even get all the way in the, well, maybe the ocean would have been, uh, antiseptic or something, but, um, I didn't get in the ocean because this is still doing its like oh. gooey, disgusting thing. So, I didn't want to get in the pool water, that's for sure. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I might move to Miami. I like it here, you know? And since I got another 100 years to live, here we go. Mm. Phoenix, that's super interesting. Mm-hmm. I feel like with all of these supplements that I'm taking and all of these... Chrissy said, here's everything that happened in Colombia. Next day, you weren't there. How did you know what happened in Colombia? That's a great point. And we saw that with reacting in the, its entirety to her first stream, then her getting mad that Aaron and Julie Joe re reacted to it, and she got heat from it and saying, well, how do you know? Well, you told us, Jesse Lee Ward. That's the issue. Exactly juices I'm drinking and this oxygen water I'm drinking and all the stuff I'm doing. It all tastes so bad. I gotta live a really long time, you know? I did get vitamin D, yes. Uh, Caffeine-free ketones are what I'm drinking. I'm not drinking the caffeine. Um, do I still have body butter? It's a healing for scarring. Let you know you should. Uh, I don't think so. I've been using this body butter um, a lot. This is this uh, all-natural body butter from Buff City Soap. So I bought several of them because I really like it. But um, happy Easter, Mark. Oh, I should have gotten in the ocean. Uh, no, 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 literally no. Sorry, I just heard a message from my brother. Huh? It has nothing to do with anything health related, but I'm glad it's coming through on all of my, uh, it's coming through on literally all of my, my devices. My brother says, don't, oh, what's this? Don't leave your private messages Hopefully on. Hopefully not. A, let me see. What's this? Yes, and for those of y'all who like Jesse Lee Ward and maybe are not up to date on stuff, oh, and no, the ocean is not antiseptic. After surgery, you have to stay out of lakes, oceans, baths, etc. for six weeks. Olives, yes. If y'all haven't seen the olive tree people, <laughs> yes, that is what the references are in the chat. Oxygen water. Okay. Uh, 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 you do all those healing modalities on a daily basis. That's a bull. What is, what's the Jesse Lee Ward deep lore? Um, she says that she had a traumatic childhood, that she um, sent her dad to prison, that other bad things happened after that. She graduated high school with a 4.0, had a full academic scholarship to Hunter College, she graduated with a 4.0 and got a job in the pathology lab making $55,000 a year. Was Living fired. in the basement. Yep. She, while she was there, she said, um, and the story ranges, but if you listen to her podcast, her mom said that she needed to come up with $300 for rent because Jesse Lee Ward was living in the basement. Jesse Lee Ward didn't have the money, and it was recommended to her, I think by her mom, to – join Avon or something. So she found Love Winks, I think was first, then bought was bought by Pure Romance. She got she said she was one of the top earners in Pure Romance, got terminated from that company, joined Modair, got terminated from Modair because of the relationship that she was in with the chief marketing officer. Then she joined Prove It and has been with Prove It ever since. So that's the that's the short version. <laughs> And all of that information is from Jessie Lee Ward on her podcast and her stories. It's not any slumber parties, then pure romance. Aaron, thank you. I keep thinking love winks and I keep slipping that up. Slumber parties, then pure romance. And y'all, if you want the tea on Jessie Lee Ward, Aaron is the person to follow because Aaron was- She knows the, it all. She was one of the original people that went over from, you know how Jessie Lee says the original eight? There was more. 
And Aaron was part of that larger group, the 14, I think the 14 or 13 that went over to uh, prove it. And Aaron has a ton of streams and we're telling all the two. So if you, ha if you don't follow Aaron, <laughs> uh, definitely give her a fall. Full time job, girl. I love that. Uh, apricot seed is probably at my house by now. I ordered it last week for the B17 vitamin that's in it, which, yep. hold on. If you don't know, uh, B17 is illegal in America. Crazy. Karina is also a creator. But I've been in Miami for five days now, so it should be in the house by now. <sighs> I love, oh, now this is a story I'd like to see. Carly says, woman, my grandpa had stage four colon cancer at 64. He lived till it was 101. Let's go. I received that. B17 is a vitamin that is in, that is in uh, apricot seeds. Why is claims? when she brags about all the things that she has access to that nobody else does um, is because her money and her influence get her on the in with all of these rich people who can get her stuff. Terry LaCour gets her stuff. Um, Brian Underwood gets her stuff. Eric uh, worry. Eric worry gets her stuff. And so, uh, that's why, I mean, that's how she gets all of this stuff. She has the Myers um, vitamin drip that the FTC has slapped because of their health claims. She got some of that because you can't get it anymore. And I think Terry LaCour helped get her that, in my opinion, from what I understand. So. Is it illegal? Well. Okay. Good I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of stuff is um, kind of frowned upon by the medical community. But it's natural. Oh my god. Why? I don't know. I do know. The word you're looking for is money. M O N E Y. Have you heard of the, science? Word, yes. S C I. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Cindy. I know. Um, so if y'all don't know, um, Jesse Lee Ward is the godparent of Cindy's grandkids. And from what I understand, the relationship between Jesse Lee and Courtney has impacted Cindy and her and Cindy's husband to be able to see their grandkids. So it's really sad. Looking for. Um, so anyway, you can get it though in apricot seeds. So oh my God. that is my that's my move. That's what I'll be doing. Getting them apricot seeds. She's taking um, some kind of dewormer as well. So it's twisty. It is twisty here. A a an animal dewormer. Not even. It it's wild. It's wild. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm really excited about that. Really excited for my Greek test to come back so I can find out which uh, immunotherapies and or chemotherapies will work against my specific cancer. Oh, 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 take that out of my mouth. I don't, not mine. I don't claim this cancer. Uh, so it will work against my specific body, I will say. Okay. Um, and then I can make a treatment plan. So I'm very excited for that. That will be a happy day in the neighborhood. Very excited for that. I hope she does chemo. I feel like it I hope she does chemo. Ivermectin and cyanide. Great. It's wild here. Who wants to tell her that apricots don't have seeds? Pits and seeds are different. Interesting. It'll be a good day. I need to floss really fast because I have like cherry between my teeth. I didn't even eat cherry. I just drank it. Oh my gosh. You don't understand okay. how juicing works. There we go. Oh. Uh, yes, my Greek test. So amazing. All right. I look terrific. Thank you. I think I'm going to keep my hair up actually because I was wow. going to like I have my straightening iron on to straighten it for this fight. But I really. Okay. FYI, Myers cocktail IV was not outlawed. Just the IV establishment who were touting 
Yes, they got slapped for making health claims, and they were not allowed to make health claims associated with it. Um, the Myers cocktail is not illegal; it's just vitamins. But I think that they're not. They're difficult to find now because of get. I think they're more difficult to find because of them getting slapped. I'll look into it and I will post it to stories, probably tomorrow morning. I really feel like um, it's quite hot in Miami, and I. F- feel like it's just going to be too dang on hot for me. So um, maybe like a little pony, Tony thing. Um, Maybe, and yeah, maybe I won't need the treatments, but I do need a cure. So um, no evidence of disease, which I'm excited about. I'm doing a lot of different protocols and stuff like that, obviously throwing the little old kitchen sink. Yes. I just want to bring attention to Ginny's comment where she's saying she literally thinks that tons of money isn't being made by, the people or by people she's buying thousands of dollars worth of poisons and then she previously had made a comment okay. saying um and i'm sure like sarcastically i'm sure no one is making any money off the bs she keeps buying and i want to bring this up because i do think it's a really important point to make because her reason why she's so resistant to traditional medical treatments is because these people are all in the business of making money yeah but i would love to see the receipts on how much money she's spent on all of these not scientifically proven alternative therapies because i would hazard to guess that we're in the multiple tens of thousands of dollars at this point oh well above that she's bought i mean the 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 um the that machine was like sixteen thousand, wasn't it yep and then she has the hyperbaric chamber which that was probably twenty thousand bucks then she has um I don't know. She's she's gotten so much other things for free and I'm wondering if and this is this is grumpy DC wondering if all these people are giving her all this stuff for free because they're hoping that she beats cancer and that it's going to make them a shit ton of money. And that is I would not put it past multi-level marketing gurus to do that, to exploit her and keep her plugged into the pseudoscience so that they may make money. And that would be scary. That that's not, I mean, I think that would be awful. Exactly. I don't know. It's just to me to use money as the argument as to like why you're so against it. It's like, obviously, that's not it. So why yeah. don't you just speak your truth if you're so confident in sharing your thoughts on the internet? Yeah. And I, I did a stream with all of her injections. If you go and look... Um, we listed out the ones that she listed when she last time she was in Miami and you can probably add it up. Um, Craig said it was like $2,000 a week. I don't know if it was that expensive, but you, you can go add all those up. Not you Craig, but if you want to go see it, you can go look and add it up. Kitchen sink at it. That's the goal over here. Um, the goal over here is obviously a cure. The goal over here is to beat it. And then the cool thing is, in the meantime, I'm just doing all the things in my business that bring me a bunch of joy. So if things are not bringing me joy or making me happy or me being like, oh, I love that I did that or gosh, I'm really looking forward to that call or that uh, Zoom or that whatever, well, then it got punted. Okay, it got punted straight across the f- freaking Atlantic Ocean. Tell you what, um, if it's not making me happy to do it, it's not happening not happening all of my energy is being spent on things that i love i look beautiful anyway like what will look good on television <laughs> what is the thing with thinking she's uh, going to be on tv did i miss something but she made a comment earlier that she was going to be on tv yes yeah, so she at the ufc at the ufc fight tonight she right. said it's going to be televised so she was like you might see me on tv i forgot that's where she was going yep I wonder how her team feels hearing all the things that were punted. Yep. Yep. Which is wild. And they're not getting any extra money for doing that. They're just getting the the feeling of a job well done. And for who? You're already giving her her lifestyle by paying for your ketone orders monthly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're paying for the privilege of, of being in her downline, which is wild. Dasher is arriving right now. Okay. So my Dasher, my door Dasher is arriving right now. Let me put my mascara on. And then uh, I have to uh, go downstairs and get my eyelash glue from them. And then I have to finish getting ready. And then I have to be in a car by six o'clock with Wes Potson and Sohab. Um, 
have to get in a car with them and get kidnapped by them and then taken to Eric's house. And then at Eric's house, uh, I can't wait to see his house, actually. And then we're going to drive together in our car to the UFC fight. And I really hope that you guys see me on the telly. I don't really care, actually. Uh, but uh, maybe I'm on television. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Uh, but I'm excited to go to this because I've never been to a UFC fight. And maybe I love it. Maybe I hate it. Maybe I learned some skill sets so that I can attack everybody who's mean to me. And I just feel like it's, like, a really good plan. So um, I hate eyelash extensions. They pull out your actual eyelashes. Even the people who are like, I'm a pro. I won't get them pulled out. You pull them all out. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. I, so, you know what? I think part of the reason I was getting so inflamed, well, I had leaky gut. There's that. And I already healed that. But I think the vegetables were killing me for so long, partially because of leaky gut. Um, and then partially. Is leaky gut a thing? I thought it was a pseudoscience-y thing. In I like, don't... yeah, holistic nutrition, they believe it to be a thing. But again, and this isn't to like speak poorly to anyone who is this in the chat. But like, if you're a holistic nutritionist, you do you can do that like online. It's not like a, a medical program. Like you don't go and get mm -hmm. your like Bachelor of Bioscience and then take a medical degree. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And again, uh, to... I'm not trying to be like, yay, pseudoscience. Remember that there are people struggling with lots of health things and they are looking for solutions and there's a lot of hidden things sometimes that don't show up on tests. And so it, it, it even though we're debunking or at least saying there's no scientific backing for some of this stuff, those people who are saying, I have leaky gut or I have this or, or, or they're looking for some kind of solution, it's because they're in pain or they're in discomfort or they're something it, they're trying to work through something. And so I hope that we get to be like a place with some kind of foundational science here and also have some compassion and saying, I'm so like, I know that not everyone has access to healthcare here in the United States, that getting answers from doctors is incredibly difficult sometimes. And it pushes people in my opinion into the pseudoscience arena because they're just trying to find answers. And so hopefully we can debunk with, you know, I don't know, heart, I guess <laughs> with padding, you know, I just, I, I, I know there's some people in our chat who, who have some, um, some medical stuff. And so I'm, I don't know, nuance a little bit and also science, you know, I don't know. Because my biome was probably off. And then partially because I had a tumor. I had a tumor in my stomach. Why are we? Not in my stomach. I had a tumor in my colon. A tumor. Just a little tumor. So, you know, who knows? Uh, so I just think that everything changed. But yeah, I'm eating only fruits and vegetables now. And I haven't eaten any nuts yet because I feel like they're going to make me poop my brains out. But, um... I might incorporate, start incorporating some nuts because I'm really hungry over here. Okay. So yeah. What can I say? All right. At any rate, the Tuma, the Tuma. Yeah. I wish, well, no, I did have it a, probably a while, but I didn't know. I was going to say, I wish I had known about it because then, you know, I could have named it and then we could have removed it. No, F that. We got that hoe out of there. Um, it doesn't need a name. That little biatch, that little biatch. What can I say? Um, Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I have to look super attractive for my platonic male friends that I'm going to hang out with. Um, that's the goal. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. You're in the accelerator program. Oh, cause who wouldn't be in it? Yeah, Ruth, let's go. Am I able to eat quinoa? I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't really know what the deal is with, with, with that. Um, but I've been gone for five days. So five days of my veganism has been traveling. So when I get home, I'll probably find a chef or something like that who will cook my food for me because Lord knows I'm not going to start cooking. And uh, that's that. So stay away from cashews. Oh, Lord. Y'all, there's so much. Y'all, there's so much advice going out right now. It's crazy. Um, oh, the kefir? That, I did drink some of that. Yeah, that tastes like a tastes like yogurt or something like that. I was drinking that. Um, all right. So my dasher is nearby. He's not here yet. So I can still ramble with you guys, even though I'm really high up in the in the tower. So it's going to take me a long time to go downstairs. Maybe you guys have a question. I don't really know. Um, everything looks... Where's my lipstick? 
It's up there. I have to wait for that. My last accelerator call was fire. Um, thank you. How's my sex life? Oh, booming. Um, oh great God. question. How do we need to know that? Uh, you've recovered so great. How'd you get back on your feet so fast? I started walking 45 minutes, or I walked the very first night for 45 minutes. Um, I just want to keep my body in motion the whole time. And I think a lot of my recovery was more like my body was in really good physical shape was for surgery. So there's that. Um, I should wear pink lipstick. I have like so about five minutes have- ago, she said my dashers <laughs> here, and and we we have not gone to get the dasher yet, <laughs> which is just in, it's okay. Um, maybe maybe it hasn't notified her phone yet. I don't know. This pink lipstick actually, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. Uh, like this hot pink lipstick. Where is boyfriend? Boyfriend is in California with his children, and if I were dramatic, I would tell you things that happened last night, but. I'll just let everybody who thinks anything about my relationship dig themselves a big, gigantic grave of embarrassment right now. Um, There's no embarrassment on my part. I don't think there's any embarrassment on Danielle's yeah, part. I, she's alluding to something that she knows that I guess she is blaming the mom about. But why? why are you so disrespectful in airing laundry that is not yours to air like why why are you not letting the kids have their privacy and i would say talking about this stuff um is not giving them their privacy even though she is taking a dig at the wife uh aaron said lol she's big mad here yep definitely the contempt Makeup brand that I use a lot, um, a lot of them in front of me. I see Lime Life, I see Natasha Denona, Moxie Lash, uh, Sephora, um, Charlotte Tilbury, Anastasia, NARS, YSL, Kat Von D, Saint, uh, Urban Decay, Milk, and this is unique. So I'm not actually, uh, I'm not. Her body was in peak physical shape, except for the leaky gut, Lyme disease. Her, She claimed she had it, pooping all the time, other than that, and the mold. You forgot the mold, Dave. Attached to anything, I should say. It says my. It says arriving now, your dash is nearby. He's still not here, so whatever. Um, I don't talk about his kids on, um, on my videos what or online at all, Since so no, it's not my story to tell about his is children. That new? Um, so it doesn't matter how old they are, their ages, their genders, any of that stuff, so. You already told us that he has multiple. We already know how many they have because of the divorce decree. But you're saying you're not going to share anything. And yet you've just revealed so much of that here. I I don't get it. She just wants to convince herself what she has and hasn't said. Oh, yes. All right. Don't forget the brain tumor, too. Right, Aaron. Yep. God. They're his children. Uh, they're not my kids. They'll be my stepkids someday. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, so anyway, uh- imagine, imagine being the kid and ever finding this video online, and and someone treating you like you're some kind of commodity, a prize, a, a prize or a dig to collect to make it painful for the other parent. I cannot. Uh, and Karina said, please do not talk about someone else's children. As a mom, I would F you up if you talked about my child. It is so... It's callous. It lacks empathy. It's cruel. The what she's doing here. I... Uh, I don't have... Do I have any pharmacy right now? Uh, no. Oh, I do have... Um market america also actually my contour is market america so yeah yeah oh dawn i saw your text just now oh i'll tell you it was wild um my favorite food i don't know pizza is all i'll say now i would say steak in the past who's watching the dogs their favorite dog she's gonna tell us at the end of this video but yes she is gonna make him sign a prenup walker um and then both my assistants are at the property every day as well so yeah it's just not my my it's not my uh it's like it's like everything on the internet i guess if you are in the family vlogger space at all and the shit that goes on in those channels there have been kids 
in family vlogging channels who have had to be removed from school because they get bullied so hard for their entire lives being online. And can you imagine Avi's kids finding her content alone? Because I hope that, I don't know, we're doing commentary in kind of a way here that the kids do not feel less or, um, I don't know. I, I, I hope that if the kids ever find this content that I'm sorry that y'all are being used as pawns because you shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. That adults should not treat y'all like that. No, it's yeah. awful. You know, a certain amount of information that people decide to give you, but obviously they don't give you all the information and that's no different. Exactly. So, uh, I have an amazing relationship and, uh, the kids are great. Um, that's how you're scared. You've never even met the kids. How would she know? How would you know how good the kids are doing if you're not if you're not the parent or if you don't spend enough time with them or even have them evaluated by a psychologist and make sure that they have what they need and that they can talk through things because the splitting up of a home is hard on them. I'm sure it's it's hard on the adults too. I'm just saying like it's hard on the kids. And mm -hmm. I I hope that I hope they get what they need. Skincare and makeup repertoire should be a mix of what works for your skin and skin tone. Yeah. See, it ended up okay. I think we were all a little scared at the beginning, right? <laughs> Just a little bit scared. Uh, but hopefully you're not scared anymore. All right, what's going on with the Dasher? Come on, Dasher, where are you? But no, we're great. We're great. We're great. We're great. We're great. Um, let's see. Dude, I mean, look, here's the thing. It's funny because... I don't even really care about getting married again. Um, you do, but why? Because I've been married and it doesn't change. She literally uh, again in every live video why. she's talking about it. When she was with the guy from Ukraine, I don't want to say his name because I'm trying to protect him a little bit. We know that Vic is, you know, public figure. Vic, she talked about marrying him all the time. She talked about marrying the Ukrainian guy all the time. So when you're saying, oh, I don't really care about getting married, that's fine. You can change your mind at any time. You can pivot at any time. But don't play us like you haven't been hyper-focused on getting a huge ring. She's talked about it with almost every single person she's been with. So what's the truth? I, I just wonder. I just have questions. Change anything? But I would have, like, a crazy party. I could change my name. Uh, could, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. For me, the wedding is whatever. Because obviously, if I if and when, let's say I do get married, it's like, golly, now I got to get all these contracts, got to get the flipping prenup done, got to get all the, oh, it's a, it's just a lot of extra work, you know what I mean? Uh, the, uh, the concealer is NARS. NARS. The color is nougatine. Nougatine. Um, thanks guys. Yeah. I'm excited for the fights. I just wanted to wear makeup tonight and put the lashes on, which I don't have on right now. Um, oh, my order was dropped off. Is it at my door? So beyond said to be entirely fair, being a step parent is difficult. It's a difficult job. It is so hard to be involved in someone else's life when they have children. It, and I, I'm mostly coming at this from a kid's perspective, not having my parents are together, but having friends who had separated parents, but the, the, you could see a completely just wild, wild difference in a good way when you, there was mutual respect, when there wasn't the step parent coming in and undermining the biological parent, when there was empathy and compassion and, there, you don't see any of that on Jesse Lee Ward's face or in her tone of voice or in her words when she could acknowledge saying, yeah, you know what? I'm in love with Avi and in, and both of these things can be true at the same time. I'm in love with Avi and I know that this decision that he's not going to be able to be with his kids full time is devastating probably to Avi and to the kids. And that is something that we're going to work through privately, but it, it is something that has to be said respectfully and with compassion and with empathy. It, and, and we don't see any of that. We just see, oh, jab, I got Avi and you didn't. It's, just, it, it's so, 
it's cruel. It's just, it's way cruel. Oh my God, the man's a hero. First person ever to come up. I order DoorDash every day. Be right back. We don't have to go anywhere. Thank you guys uh, for your, someone just ordered a trial on the link in the bio and a trial link. Thank you. I'm concerned you after to be in a car. Oh, I have to be down. I have to be downstairs in 10 minutes. Thank you for the reminder. Holy crap. Okay. So I forgot about that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to take this lash glue. I'm going to put some lashes on. Whee! Oh my God. How am I? I'm so good guys. I completely thank you. Thank you for keeping me on my toes because I can, I literally forgot. I forgot. I have to be dressed in downstairs. That's the look of minutes. late night. Hope oh my God. Oh my God. Hornet Toledo. Fine. Wes Watson. If you're watching, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Wes. Don't leave me. Somebody message. So hot. Say don't leave her. Don't leave her. I don't want to take an Uber alone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. It's crazy. I don't wear makeup ever anymore. Me? I'm talking. So, you can't even hear me. This is not the right glue oh for it. God, sorry. Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> I was muted. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And she's What's like, DC is so rude. Why is she not letting me speak? I'm like, God, sorry. I'm like, okay, I guess we'll just listen to the video at the same time. It's fine. Sorry. No, sorry. Um, I wanted to talk about Carolyn's comment um, because, uh, and somebody else brought this up earlier. I think it was Gabrielle, but I too am someone whose parents divorced when I was like 13 and my dad had a new girlfriend like right away. And I'm just trying to imagine her like going public on obviously like Facebook wasn't really a thing when I was 13, but if it was um, going live and like publicly broadcasting it, like my new boyfriend has three kids and I can't wait to like be their stepmom. I would, I would have been like you like, yes it's just like i'm just trying to like imagine it from that perspective and it's so bewildering to me yeah and that and- someone would like i just to me it's like if if i was in her position and i'm dating a man who is going through a divorce would you not have the decency enough to wait until everything is over to then like if if you're someone that wants to like unearth your dirty laundry on the internet whatever like Float your boat but why are we doing it when things haven't even like come to fruition and it's still all happening in real time like it's so yeah. wild to me yep and this is a good comment but the reason why her room was expensive is because their conference happened to be over passover which is a really big mm-hmm. deal in miami beach and it's the worst time to be at the hotel thank you for adding this and yes people are saying absolutely danielle yep exactly uh, like i don't know i just can't even imagine yeah I went through it with my ex and his girlfriend. She used to post pics of my kids and call them her kids. It was infuriating. Absolutely no boundaries. And Stevie said, one, thou- 1 million percent, Danielle. It was hard enough to accept my stepmom. It's been 25 years, and I still don't. I cannot even imagine her announcing that she was going to be my stepmom before engagement online. Exactly. Like I was not even friends with my stepmom for probably close to like the first 10 years that my dad and her were together because I was like, who is this woman and why is she here? (laughs) Like as a child, it's so hard to conceptualize that. And so for it to be broadcasted in front of half a million people is just like, I can't even wrap my head around it. I can't either. It's, it's, it's wild. Because these lashes, I wear these moxie lashes. Well, I don't wear lashes ever anymore, but these are uh, for a lack of a better word, different. They use this like nanotech something technology. So they're not glue, but glue. It doesn't get sticky or tacky or anything like that. And then it just peels off in this silicone, whatever. I really like it. Um, and then this is just normal lash glue. So I'm having to use 
normal lash glue right now to put I on. I think you're right, Karina. And better Karina than said, she thinks that because she has no boundaries, no one else does. It's a great point, Karina. Normal lashes. So, ah! Praise Jesus. Here we go. He um, you'd love when I wear the moxie lash. Yeah. I think I would be okay if they were some of these less dramatic ones, but these super dramatic ones just don't really fit my face anymore, I don't think, because I don't do the crazy makeup. I, uh, one sec. I actually kind of look back on photos of it from last year, and I, like, don't even recognize myself when I used to wear lashes every day. But, uh, I like it. I like sitting down and getting a little bit feminine and girly with you guys and feeling pretty. I talked to this really cool astrologist the other day. He's like a master astrologist. And he's that. like, with all the treatments, you know, maybe you end up not looking the way you like to look for a while, but uh, you'll get back to it. Don't worry. What? I thought it was like super nice of him to say that. Can I just say, I, I, I'm trying to be respectful. Someone who is financially motivated to tell you what you want to hear is going to, and you're going to listen to that person and you're not going to listen to the doctor who removes cancer every single day from people or the oncologist who treats cancer every single day. You're not going to listen to them. You're going to call them chemo pimps, but you're going to believe the, uh, the master astrologer and not to take that away, if you if you think that's fun or you you believe that that's one that's one thing, but you also have to look at numbers and and actual data that you can measure and look at over a long term. And we have lots of data about cancer treatment. We have lots of data, and that doesn't mean that 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 that's a necessarily a death sentence for you if you have an awful diagnosis. It means that what has been tried and and if you want to participate in aggressive treatment, do you have access to do it and can you do it? And, and it's just when you're looking to confirm something in yourself that doesn't line up with data, that's where it gets twisty. Because if you're saying, well, I, I don't feel anything. I don't think I do have cancer. I don't want to believe it. I'm going to go to the person who confirms that when the testing mm -hmm. confirms you do. The testing confirms that you have stage four. The testing confirms that it's metastasized, which is devastating to hear. But someone telling you, hey, you're going to not look like you like to look now, but you're going to look after you beat cancer. It's like that. That's just it, it seems twisty to me. I, I don't know. <sighs> Even the master astrologist is trying to steer her to treatment that might not make her look great. That that's I didn't read it like that. And so that's a great point. That's a great point. I didn't I didn't think that. I just would I guess my thought is go to the people who are experts in in what you're looking for help with. If you're looking for health help with relationships, go to a psychologist or a therapist. If you're if you're looking for food help, if you and again, I say this under the umbrella of I know not everyone has access to it. If you're looking for diet help or, or nutrition help or healing your relationship with food, go to a registered dietitian. There's in, I don't know. I, I just, it, I think it can get twisty with some of these offshoots like astrologists or palm readers, or I, I just say, if you're placing influence or power on where you're getting your inputs of information, maybe less input for the palm readers and more weight on the doctors. Bye, Carrie. This is almost okay. Over. All right, here we go. Um, no, I'm not doing another Miami meetup. No, that was just the other day. Oh, mother, see, sticky. Can feel the freaking glue being gluey. No. Like, can we not? Can we not and pretend we did? All right. You guys want to see what I'm wearing, by the way? I'll show you. I'm wearing this Dolce and Gabbana. Um, Cute. Little like crop top thing. 
I hope it looks good. I don't know. <laughs> and then um, I'm wearing the leather pants. So, oh, yeah. Miami, that's gonna be hot. Let's go. Oh, I'm thanks, not, Emily. That. She says, two years on, I still get a I good pump from your box. My legs. Keep going, you rock star. <laughs> appreciate that. You were beautiful inside now. Thank you, Harriet. I appreciate you, uh, that heart of yours. Hope your outfit's ready to go. I'm wearing this. This is what I'm wearing. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to have to take that glue with me. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Um, okay. Aren't you supposed to let glue, like, set up for 60 to, you know, a minute and a half so that it gets tacky so that it doesn't do what it's doing right now on her yep. eyes? <laughs> Not that I know anything, but. <laughs> oh. Neutral lip. Love it. Okay. I have seven minutes. So. Will I be in Munich in May? I will be in Munich in May if my health allows me to. Absolutely. And I can't wait to see you there. Um, so, yeah. We have about... Um, I'm a rock star. Yeah, yeah, Beth. Six minutes. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm just putting this on right now. Just, you know, like, show you guys what the top looks like, okay? It's super cute. Um, I bought it, though, in May last last year when I was quite bigger. So, hold on a second. Da, 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 da. I want to flash, you guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. All right. It looks like you yeah. perfectly. Super yeah, cute. What? Yes, this will work just fine. And then leather pants. So I'm going to put my leather pants on, and then I'm going to continue to look like a freaking supermodel <laughs> in my own world. Um, this glue is making my yep, eyeball itch. Absolutely. Not itch, but like, come on, man. <sighs> it's probably going to take me the full five minutes to put these pants on, so I really have to go. Oh, I didn't highlight my face yet. So hold on. Let's highlight together. Let's do this together because we're all friends. Munich is on. The dates are already published by the German team. It's May. <sighs> Don't quote me. 20th and 21st, I think. So if you're Germ if you are in Europe and you want to come, we'd love to see you. Hopefully I hopefully I get to go. You know, like I would I really want to be there, obviously. Um, but we shall see how everything goes. Um, treatments that, that uh, are going to work for me and all that good stuff. Anyway, love hanging out with you guys. Hopefully I look smirk and hot for you. And um, God, <laughs> I will see you guys on the television. I'm going to UFC now. So if you're going to the fight, I'll see you at the fight. If you're not going to the fight, I will not see you at the fight. Um, what, what can I say? So let's go. Mario. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, Jay. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Ciao. What just happened? You're like, what was that ending? I just end the know. live stream. If you're done, say goodbye and turn it off. Mm. I know. I, 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 I. What? What in the world? What did we just? What did we just listen to? What have we learned? Don't make threats online. Don't make threats ever online. Um, I don't know. The internet is forever again. <laughs> God. <laughs> Don't talk oh about your God. current boyfriend's ex-wife and children on the internet. <laughs> Dude, another another good one. Danielle's expression is mine the entire time JLW is on. Yeah, it, I said in the last great. stream I'm starting a fund for Botox to get rid of these frown lines from looking like this for <laughs> two hours every other day. Yes, yes <laughs> absolutely. Yes, Dre, it was a lot to take in. Um, and so let me say, let me give you some tools. If you ever uh, feel threatened or like that someone is threatening you online, you can make a uh, report to your local FBI office. You can make a rep and maybe they will send you to your local police station because it even the verbal threat, it will be taken seriously. So don't feel like if someone hasn't done something to you in person that you cannot get help for that. Um, and I know that not everyone feels comfortable with making reports, but there are, um, I just want people to be empowered to use or, and participate if they feel comfortable to, because you should not be threatened online with, um, in threatening violence or that un other people are going to, um, use violence against you. I joined a Botox monthly membership. I pay a, a flat rate every month, so I don't have a big bill when it comes to bo for Botox every three to four months. Shelby, that's so smart. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, all right, everyone I, I subscribe think... to DC. <laughs> Let me put Danielle's thing one more time in 
uh, channel one more time in the oh god something just happened my chat overlay just messed up uh i don't know if i'm still <laughs> live or not you're so, here okay sorry about that my my chat is gone now so everyone thank you so much for joining us thanks for I, being here thumbs I up the hope- stream Hit the hit the sound. Yes. Hit the sound. Yes, where is it? Lick the stream. Lick the stream. Okay, thank you so much. We will catch you on the next stream. So bye everybody. Bye.